Right you guys, if you want to learn how to fix any Windows update error, then this video is for you. As you can see, we've got the error message, your device is at risk because it's out of date and missing important security and quality updates. And uh, this is a common error and you can see all the other errors are on the screen there. This will fix any Windows error. So if you follow this sequence, you should be able to get up and running and fix your Windows update issue. So first off, we're going to try and run Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do that, you need to go down to the search box and type troubleshoot or trouble. And you can see it up here. Click on this and the box will open up. Look for the Windows Update area. Click on this one and then click run the troubleshooter. Once you've done that, it will go through a bunch of cycles to try and fix your Windows update. I've speeded this process up and it should uh, rectify your problem. You can click on uh, apply this fix. It will go then and resolve your problem for the computer. You should see now it has been fixed. You want to reboot your computer and hopefully your Windows update has been resolved. If it hasn't and you're still having issues, then come back down to the search box. Make sure Windows Update Service is running. So type services in the search box and look for Windows Update. You can see here we've got the service is running. So just double click on it. Just make sure it's running here. You can always stop it and start it again, but it should be uh, working OK. So let's move on to the next thing that we can do. We can download the most recent service stack updates and you can go to Microsoft Update Catalog here. And uh, this is a site where you can download the latest updates uh, manually here. So go to the About in Settings and you can see here what version of Windows you're using. You can see this is the very latest version, but if you're using one of the older versions like 1703 or something like that, which is Creators Update, uh, you can go to there and type that in and you can then download uh, the latest uh, SSU uh, for your system and install that. OK, now sometimes what happens is it gets corrupted or it fails and you end up with an error message. So doing that will resolve your issue. Now you can also type in there any version of Windows up here or you can type in any sort of direct uh, patch here which you want to download. You can see KB and I've put the number up there, but any sort of number that's going to download that you can then install it okay by just clicking on download and then install so that's basically how you can go about doing that just click on the download button on the one that you've chosen and it will then start to install on your system now if you've got still problems there what you can do is come down to the search box here and type control panel and this will open up your control panel go to control panel and then look for your uh, programs and features. If you're in category like this, you can just click on programs or uninstall a program. Click on uninstall a program here and then go up to your uh, view installed updates. When you click on viewed installed updates, it will give you a list of all the updates that you have on your system. What you want to do here is uh, uninstall and download uh, the latest uninstall uh, for your system. You can click on the one here it's normally the top one, click uninstall and then download it again manually and try to install it. Maybe it's got corrupted and you can see here KB4093112. That's the latest update. Sometimes what happens is when it downloads and it gets corrupted in some way and it stops it working. So you want to go ahead and download that file. Click download. Find the file that suits your operating system. And then click on the download button and then you can then start to install it manually yourself. I'll just quickly show you here. Click on that link and you can see we have open. Click on open. This will then start to download the file from Microsoft servers. Now once that's downloaded, you can then go ahead and proceed to install that update. Now normally uh, it's the larger updates uh, that go uh, pear shaped. Once you start to install them, they go wrong and then you have to uh, try to fix Windows file corruption. So that's what I'm going to show you next on how to do. So what we're going to do here is open up the command prompt by typing CMD in the search box. Once command prompts open, you want to type in here dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash uh, restore health. Push enter 
and let that run it will take a fair bit of time okay it's going to try to uh, resolve your issue once that is completed you want to then run sfc space forward slash scan now and let that scan finish also hopefully this will fix any sort of corruption with your uh, windows files that you may be having and uh, you should then be able to update uh, windows correctly now if there's any sort of violations or any problems here it will be listed but mine's uh, showing okay but if you've got issues it will try to resolve those issues for you so okay let's move on to the next stage here we're sort of running out of options here but you can perform an in-place upgrade and what you can do here is go to microsoft's website and download uh, the media creation tool here so just click on download the tool now once you've done that you can then run the tool this will then start to install now we're not going to do a fresh install just yet we're going to do an upgrade so this is basically leaving your windows as is and over installing windows over the top of it as you can see here so it's going to get a few things ready here just be patient and let it do its thing it does take a bit of time and uh, once it's gathered some information uh, accept the uh, license terms and agreement and then upgrade this PC now you would do the same process if you was going to do a fresh install you'd create a bootable USB flash drive and then boot to that flash drive and install Windows this this is only necessary after this process if it doesn't work so select all the options that you want to select keep your personal files and apps if you wish or keep your personal data and uh, get rid of the apps it's entirely up to you and then install uh, windows when it's ready okay now it's always best to make backups of your data on a regular basis just in case something goes wrong and if it does then you will be able to do a fresh install of windows if that does not work okay so that is your only options after that is to do a nice fresh install and hopefully your problem should resolve but basically uh, if you follow those steps I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident that your problem will be resolved before you have to do a fresh install anyway I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you need any more help then pop over to the forums and I'll do my best to help you out over there Bye now if now. you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos